turn to, 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 to Ken Farrell and, and, and talk a little bit about some of the work that you, you've done with him. Again, you know, his Injustice series and then the, 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 the new one that's, that's come out. I can't, I just lost the, the name of it. Ultraviolet. Ultraviolet. Thank you. So, um, tell us a little bit about that because we, we always talk about, uh, or it seems to be that, uh, police violence is, supposed to be unique to the United States. And obviously that's not the case. Um, and the, what's going on to, with our brothers and sisters in, in uh, the UK is just as uh, concerning to me as, as well as us in, on, in America. And mm-hmm. we want to know more about what's going on and then how we can actually get involved and help. Yeah, well, the main organization is actually called UFFC, United Family and Friends Campaign. And we've just got some funding actually to develop a youth wing. Because when you think about it, again, you know, we've just talked about trauma. And some of the young people who die in police custody are quite young. And their friends around them, they're not given any support to help them through that. Mm. Um, that so trauma, we, yeah. We to this youth wing so that they can share with them what they need for their support um, do some projects for themselves to make themselves uh, for their peers and to be bonding and stuff like that. That is really important. So we've just, that's the, something that's going to just kind of start um, quite soon. Um, but, you know, it's interesting we're talking now because it was like seven years ago. Is it seven years ago? Um, just on May the 3rd when my cousin Sheku Bayo died. Mm. So this, this week is that anniversary. Um, but you know, the, the 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 sad thing about it is, is we're having anniversaries of this all the time, anniversaries of the death and anniversaries of the birth of people who died. So it's quite it's quite awful. But you know, unfortunately, these things are still happening. There was a one that happened about a year ago with Chris Cabba, and he was literally he was um, shot through his car window. Mm. Can you imagine? You know, and this it, it really those things really strike us because, you know, our police don't traditionally carry guns. You know, they carry batons, but not guns. But sometimes they do have if they if they think that, you know, the, the person, the criminal, supposed supposed criminal is that they're running after is going to be dangerous. Then they have I'm not sure in which situations they seem to have guns and which they don't. So this is what kind of shocked everybody is. How can he be shot through his car window? Our police don't carry guns, but obviously they they do in in some instances. Um, yeah, some of these, yes, these these situations, yeah, they they're just occurring all the time. Um, and one one person to follow around as well is um Stafford Scott. I maybe is something. Maybe I'll try and reach out for him to speak to him. He's he's a really good speaker and. He is very involved in in some areas of London where uh, more than one young black man has died in police custody. Um, but yeah, these these things are still are still carrying on here, and it's yeah. They were talking about the idea of battling what they call police warrior culture in in the in the, in the UK, which is the same as in in, in the United States. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. As people are doing books now, there's a book out. There's one, uh, there's a book about out on Smiley Culture. Smiley Culture is actually as an artist. He was, a, he's a, he, was a, he was a rapper and he was, you know, the police burst into his house mm. and, and, you know, and he died. And, you know, and the police are given all excuses of how he died, you know, what excuses. So there was, there was a, you know, there was a, a march about that and somebody just pulled out a book with those pictures of protest. In terms of our case, is is an interesting situation that's happened because at least one of the police who sat on my cousin, and this is still all allegedly because it's going through a public inquiry at the moment, mm. he was double the double the weight of my cousin. He had been accused by his own family members of being racist and also of being violent against his parents. Wow physically violent against his parents and this was known yet he was still a policeman i don't even know what to say to that um you it's, know? it's no different in america no it's no different it's no different and then sometimes even worse 